Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Hi, boys and girls. Uncle Jay is on vacation, so he hasn't gotten around to returning any of his eggs or restoring his honor. He'll be back soon to explain the news and to complain about the Emmy Awards, just like everybody. In the meantime, let's go back to the Oscars from last spring. It's a rerun, just like TV. See you soon. Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, first of all, this is being recorded before the Oscars. However, Uncle Jay is going to make some very brave predictions right now. Guaranteed we'll see a few seconds of this. And this. And this. Okay, Uncle Jay's news word for this week is actually three words. Up or down. In politics, this means yes or no, and there's a reason for that. Politicians are never that direct with us because they think we can't handle the truth. Anyway, President Obama told the Senate to do an up or down vote on health care reform. Now, the word the Senate uses, boys and girls, is reconciliation. And I gotta warn you about this word. In a regular dictionary, reconciliation or reconcile means to come to an agreement or a compromise or a settlement. But in the Senate, words mean whatever the senators say they mean, just like the rules. It's like when they've been in office that long, they start to think they're the king of the world. You know, boys and girls, in the last 20 years, the word reconciliation has been called a bad word, and then a good word, and then a bad word again by the very same senators. They keep forgetting what it means because they're really only thinking about one word most of the time, all all the time. However, in public, that's a word that must never be named. Well, in other news, you may notice whenever the stock market goes that the very same news stories about it can be different. For instance, last week, some new job statistics were followed by a surge on Wall Street. Kind of a dull story, but might some news outlets try to imply something with that story? And might some other news outlets try to imply just the opposite? Because doesn't all news have some bias? Sadly, the answer is yes. Yes. And now it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from... Steve in Elkins, West Virginia. Hi, Steve. Steve writes, Dear Uncle Jay, one of the nominations for Best Picture this year is for Up, and it's only the second time an animated movie has ever been nominated. Do you think that finally a great animated film will get Best Picture? Thanks, Steve. Uh, no. Even though the Oscars haven't happened yet for me, I'm pretty sure Up is not going to win. Not because it didn't deserve to, but because the other contenders, frankly, have things about them that Hollywood just can't refuse. For instance, Avatar has got so much buzz going for it, and Hurt Locker's got action and explosions and dead people, and Up in the Air's got George Clooney, who's everybody's bud. You see, Steve, movies, just like politics, sometimes wins on politics. It's a tale as old as time. Uh, uh, That was the other nomination. Don't forget, you can see more at www.unclejexplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news.